look at moment. Moments are turning forces. Moment equals force times distance from pivot. So first thing is we need a pivot. We need a pivot because that is the point, this is the point about which the turning happens. Here's our pivot. Right, now we have a lever. Distance one, length distance one, and we have a force at the end of that lever, F1. Now, the way that we could balance this turning force, this is an anti-clockwise turning force, the way we could balance it would be if we had a lever of the same length and a force of the same size. That would be one way of balancing this turning moment. Another way we could do it would be to have a lever that was twice as long and a force that was only half as big. That would work as well. Okay, so let's do a moment's problem. So here we've got F1 equals 4 newtons, D1 equals 5 metres, D2 equals, we don't know, and F2 equals 10 newtons. So anti-clockwise moment must equal clockwise moment. Okay, now then, so our anti-clockwise moment is F1, D1. And our clockwise moment is F2, D2. Right, now then, we could just put in the numbers, but it's more interesting at this stage to do a bit of rearranging. So let's divide both sides by F2 to get D2, the thing we need, left by itself. That gives us F1, D1, divided by F2, equals D2, which is what we want. Now, F1 is 4 newtons, D1 is 5 metres, F2 is 10 newtons, so this becomes 20 newton metres divided by 10 newtons. The newtons cancel, and that gives us 20 divided by 10, 2 metres. So we've solved our problem. D2 equals 2 metres. Excellent. Let's do a more involved problem. F1 and F2 don't have to be on the same side of the pivot. We could have both of them on one side of the pivot. So let's look at this situation. Now we're looking for F3. We know F1, we know F2. Right now, let's look at D1. A common mistake would be to say that this moment from this force, F1, would be 5 newtons times 2 metres. But it's not. This force is actually 4 metres away from the pivot. Okay, This, this force is actually 4 metres away from the pivot. So let's do this.
Again, right, now we're going to find F3, so we divide both sides by D3. Okay, so that gives us F1, D1, plus F2, D2, all over D3, equals F3. Now let's put in our numbers. 5 newtons times 4 metres, because this 5 newton force is 4 metres from the pivot, plus 4 newtons times 2 metres, all over 4 metres equals 20 newton meters plus 8 newton meters all over 4 meters equals 28 newton meters over 4 meters. The meters cancel and we get 7 newton. Our answer, F3, is 7 newton.